Hey guys, this is Jeremy from the Cody Box Professionals. And recently I've been receiving a lot of questions relating to people who have older boxes that they're just not functioning like they first did. They're getting a lot of errors. Um, they, they aren't able to watch the programs that they're interested in. So what I'm going to show you guys today is how to really revitalize your box, how to do a factory reset, how to download new software to get Cody up and running again. We'll look at a couple of builds that we can install that have a whole bunch of additional add-ons that will really get you up and running again. And uh, I'll also show you how to install Merlin Auto Cleaner, which will keep your, your box running smoothly for you know the long term. So without further ado, we'll go right into settings. And we're going to do a factory reset, so we're going to click on storage and reset. The box that we're doing this on currently is actually the MXQ Pro 4K Ultimate. So we're going to go in to storage and reset. This is very similar in all the different um, Android boxes. Sometimes, you know, you'll have a little bit of a different user interface, but ultimately it's all really the same. So we're going to go right into factory data reset here, and then click factory data reset again and it will ask you if you want to erase everything we're gonna say yes but don't worry you know we're not it's gonna go right to the way it was when you got it from the factory there's still gonna be some add-ons on there such as Cody Netflix potentially um, Showbox stuff like that but what we want we want a fresh install of Cody so we're gonna do erase everything So what happens then is your box automatically resets itself and then reboots. So we'll just give it a moment. As you can see, it's erasing the data now. And resets itself. Now it's gonna sit in this page for you know, a couple of minutes, so I'm just going to pause the video here, and we'll fast forward it. So as you can see now, um, the MXQ Pro has completely did a factory reset. You can see that it reset itself to 12 o'clock in the morning or midnight, Thursday, January 1st. All the applications that were along the bottom have now been deleted. So. We're going to go into settings. I just need to quickly apologize because the left hand side of my screen is slightly cut off. And right away we're going to go into network. We're going to connect to Wi-Fi. Let's click on Wi-Fi not connected. Choose which network you'd like to join. And as you can see it's connecting now. Connected successfully. back out of our settings. Yeah. So we're going to go into my applications. We're going to quickly go into the Play Store. Because I did a factory reset, I'm going to have to in enter my information once again. So as you can see here, we've, we're now successfully logged into Google Play. So we're going to search for an application called Complete Coding Setup Wizard. So here it is right here. We'll just go ahead and install that. It's only about three megabytes, so it'll only take depending on your internet connection, a couple of minutes. 30 seconds likely. So that's installed. We're gonna go ahead and open it. So I'll we'll just back out of this welcome message. And as you can see in uh, Cody, or excuse me, the complete Cody setup wizard, you have all kinds of options. You can install Cody, 
install builds, you can remove builds, you can do general maintenance, install extras, do restore and backup, casting setup, and support and instructions for this app itself. So what we're gonna do first and foremost is we're gonna go into install Cody and we're gonna uninstall Cody. Because I wanna install the newest version. So we're gonna completely do from scratch, uninstall Cody, take it right off the Android box, and then we're gonna reinstall Cody 16.0 and just start with a, a clean slate. So this only takes a couple of minutes. It's already been uninstalled, so we're gonna go into install latest stable Cody version. We're gonna do a direct download that's not from the Google Play Store. So as you can see now, it's downloading the files. It's at 5%. So we're just gonna go ahead and let that download and install completely. And then we're gonna go install a new build. So as you can see now, the files have all been downloaded. And we're gonna go ahead down to install and start installing Cody. As you can see, the app is now fully installed. And we're gonna click done. We're gonna back out of install Cody page. So you can see this this application from Google Play was the Complete Cody Setup Wizard. It's a free app, so they have included ads. So we're just going to back out of the ads. And we're going to go to Install Builds. We're going to pick Top 10 Builds. This is the third selection down. And then my recommendation is Schism Atlantis. There's, there's many different builds you can choose from. One of the most popular is, is Beast. I personally find it slightly busy. So Schism Atlantis is very lightweight. It works really good. It has everything that I require. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. But you can feel free to try any of the other builds. We'll just click on Server 1. Now this particular build is about 171 megabytes so it's going to take a couple of minutes to completely download and install. As you can see the Schism Atlantis build has completed downloading and it's just installing now so this will take another couple of minutes. So the Schism Atlantis build has completed installing so what we're going to do now we're just going to back out of the screen and we'll back into that, get another ad, keep going. We want to go back to the main screen and we're going to go into install extras. We're going to go to repositories. Then we're going to scroll all the way down to install super repo Jarvis for Cody 16. It's relatively quick. It's already downloaded. It's installing. Should only take a couple of seconds. And it's done. So now we're going to back all the way out of Complete Cody Setup Wizard. So now that we've completely backed out of Complete Cody Setup Wizard, we're going to open up Cody. Let's click on it. Complete Cody Setup Wizard is. It's an app that we use to install this build. You can tell the skins have been changed, the background. We now have weather option, TV shows, collections, kids. We're going to go right over to system. After you complete this reinstall of Cody 
and you set up a new build, you're going to want to give it a few minutes before you just go right and start watching a show or you want to watch some sports or something like that. I would recommend you just give it, you know, 20 minutes or a half an hour to just go through all the updates. Okay, everything has has been updated or installed. So the last thing that we downloaded inside uh, the complete Cody setup wizard when we went on to install extras and we downloaded the super repo repository. So by now, most things have been downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and install Merlin Auto Updater. Now we downloaded Merlin Auto Updater when we went into Complete Cody Setup Wizard and we selected Install Extras and we downloaded the Super Repo. So in order to enable that we're going to go to Systems which is on the far right hand side, Add-ons, we'll go Install from Repository, Scroll down to Super Repo All Jarvis version 7. Click on that. And then we're going to go to Program Add ons. Inside Program Add ons, we're going to scroll all the way down to the M's. This, this repository actually has a ton of great add ons in it, but what we're concerned about right now is Merlin Auto Cleaner. There it is. So we'll click on Merlin Auto Cleaner. Click Install. And then that should start downloading. Now the nice thing about Merlin Auto Cleaner, after it's installed and enabled, you never have to touch it again. It runs in the background and it'll clear all your temporary files and your cache every time you start up Kodi. So it's, it's a great little add-on to have. I highly recommend that you install it every time a factory reset and reinstall of Kodi and you put in a fresh Kodi build. When you have this in here, it's it'll make sure Kodi's running smoothly and not lagging with uh, a whole bunch of temporary files in the background. So now that Merlin Auto Cleaner has been installed, I'm just gonna go through a couple of features that Shism TV Atlantis has. As you can see, it has the weather function so it, this is pretty nice it has all all the days of the week up here it's really nice graphics you can obviously input your city or your area and I believe you can have up to 10 different areas that you can add to that under movies you have many popular add-ons right here for easy access Exodus is a lot of people's favorites under TV shows once again you have UK Turk Phoenix collection for kids sports a lot of live sports live TV once again you, you have UK Turk music add-ons access YouTube and then you have your systems but overall, I personally really enjoy Schism, and Schism TV Atlantis. It's a really good Cody build. It comes with hundreds of add-ons. It runs smoothly, and in general, I don't have any problems with it. So this process that I've brought you through is what I highly recommend for any new box that you receive. Um, it's a good idea to, when you get your box, you do a factory reset on it. You reinstall Kodi, you install your preferred build, and make sure you put an auto cleaner in there so you can make sure everything is running smoothly on a day-to-day -day basis. Once again, this is Jeremy from the Kodi Box Professionals, and if you enjoyed my video, please feel free to leave a comment below or leave a like. Thank you very much.